What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. I don't ordinarily do how-to videos, but I've got a couple of engines here that are ready to be wired up, and thought I'd kind of go through the process that I use. Uh, nothing, nothing special, no big deal. Try to keep it as simple as I can. Uh, basic tools. You want some tweezers that you don't mind get, getting glue on, because you probably will get glue on them. <laughs> uh, a toothpick and some glue of your choice. I found that most most super glues, uh, CA glues, will stick to this rubber plastic shrouding on the wires really easily. Uh, a trick I found that when you're pulling it off the the spools that it comes in. I'll grab it and hold it with my thumb and wrap around my three fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That gives me nine lengths, uh, you know, for eight wires and a coil. And that way I can cut it and it's enough to work with and spread it around. So, you know, again, as you reel it off your spool, pretty simple. Just grab it with your finger. That's one, that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mwa-a-a-a. Nine. But, I mean, but it actually comes out to ten, so that's fine. Um, and I'll keep them like that so that I know that that's, that one is ready to go. Um, and the other thing that I like to have is couple of sharp scissors even your nippers if you need to but again you're probably gonna get glue on them so you don't want to use your expensive ones uh, the thing that I've found that helps so much is before you even paint it assemble it sub assembly or anything you'll see I drill little tiny holes where the split the plug wires are gonna go and then I will continue to drill and hog those out through the process of like after I've primed it and painted it and hand painted it just to hog all those holes out. Um, where exactly they go sometimes can be challenging. Um, a lot of times the kits, they line up perfectly with where the exhaust goes and it's great, you know. Sometimes they don't, but whatever once the exhaust is on there and it's in the engine compartment eh, i mean unless you're doing a show model this this is fine this method works fine uh the other thing that i like to do is if at all possible drill out uh, you see that the distributor top i'll drill it out so that later putting the wires in will be a little bit easier I've even gone as uh oh there it is. Uh, I've gone as far as drilling a little hole in the top of the coil. Um, and it depends on how much patience you have and how involved you want to get. So let's uh, run through these. I'll, I'll try to do them as expediently as I can and keep my hands out of the way so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what I'll do is. Uh, come on. Pinch them. Cut them. At the, at the loop. Come on. And then that should give me nine strands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Numbers. One, uh, 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 two, uh, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'll usually try to pinch and wind as much as I can to get them isolated. And then I like to put a little bit of piece, a, a little bit of piece, a little bit of <laughs> words um, I'm trying to cut a piece of tape here just below or above where the end of those wires are okay down to the bottom this don't have to be too perfect to start to begin just this is just to get them to hold together you know in one spot wrap that around 
and then I'll kind of crimp it with my nail to hold it a little tighter and then I'll come back at the very end and trim them all up so they're even and then we'll take uh, a trick I found with the glue I like to keep it isolated I'll put a bottle cap on a piece of tape so it's at an angle put a piece of tape on the paper so it doesn't slide around put that in place and then put the glue come on get out of there this one's almost empty that I think I'm gonna need in there for now put that upside down so it drains out and then you can see there's a little bit of a, a well there I'll take this end and just dip it in that well just barely covering the bottoms of it you don't want it too much because it will it, it will get ugly and then as gently as possible cleanly as possible attach it to the distributor cap and that went in there pretty nicely because like I said I had drilled that hole out already so I'll set that aside let that dry for a second you know, don't take long uh, here while we're at it we'll do the other one real quick okay everybody you want to count count along with me uh oh got a knot in the middle not do not want that <laughs> thank you I'll be here all week uh, again I'm trying not to make this too long of a video and I don't generally like to do how to's because I I don't consider myself a professional. I'm just kind of a hack trying stuff. <laughs> so pinch it with your thumb. And that will be long enough. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's, you know, some leftover or whatever. Big deal. You're going to, you're going to throw some way throughout this process, no matter how clean you get it. And then take the scissors, cut the loop. Flip it over and repeat. Cut the other loop. And then I think I would have had the piece of tape ready. Because I know I was going to need it. <laughs> so we've got this ancient stuff that's sitting on my table that's not all that friendly. I'm going to try to pinch it together to, to compress the wires as much as possible. Pulling and, you know, getting them to sit down into a little groove. And then put a little handle on it. Let's see how that one stuck out a little bit. And that one's a little short. Eh, whatever, it's fine. You fix it later. We're going to fix it in post, as the editor world would say. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. Clean off the ends. And I usually like to try to get this part as tight as possible. So that it will fit inside that little hole. Dip it in there. I'm pressing down just lightly. I'll hold it for a few seconds. And then let go. It should hold by itself. You know, if you really are worried about it, you can use the, uh, the, the kicker stuff if you need to. But you know again once it gets in the engine bay and all the other stuff is in there that's fine so we'll set that one aside let that dry a little bit this one should be ready good enough um, now we will get it uh, come on cooperate there we go stay up Get it to go in the direction that we want. We like train the wires, if you will. This part's always kind of tricky getting the tape off of there without destroying the whole thing. And part of the way I do that also is to keep the glue from coming too far up into the top of the distributor. Because it'll glue the whole thing together and you get this thick, and I kind of did on this one. So good example, bad job. <laughs> As I'm spreading it apart, 
I don't know if you can tell or not, but that top portion is really tall. That's taller than any spark plug wires would fit. So try to pull it down just a little bit. It will discolor the wires. So, you know, again, in, in like prep or anything, the cleaner of a job you do in the very beginning, like I shouldn't have dipped this that far into the glue. But a little bit of massaging that's down far enough that's good enough and then i'll uh, a lot of purists are going to hate me for this but the first thing i'll do is i'll spread them out so they're all even you know we got to get your little uh your little spider come on cooperate I'm trying to do this quickly i mean you don't have to be as there you go. Yeah, yeah. Get your little spider. And then four, eight, and then nine. We'll pull the coil off to the side. Then the four on each side to the spark plugs themselves. I'll take it and set it where it's supposed to go and kind of hold my finger there. And then kind of pre-route the wires a little bit where I want them to go. Basic, basic where they're going to sit. Okay, so they have that, that shape. And then I'll take these wires themselves and oh, again, this is where the purists are going to hate me. I'm not going to wire it in the correct order. So I'll mix these up a little bit so that when they come off of the distributor, they have the appearance of over under and stuff, you know? And then again, once the hood goes on, it gets all closed up. It's fine. You're never going to see it. Or maybe you will. So now I'll hold it a little bit closer to where I want it. This is the hard part, the fumbling fidgety. Or one of the hard parts. I mean, sometimes I'll even go as far as like taping that down so it will work, but I'm pushing my fingers in to get it to look like gravity is pulling the sparkle wires down. The following that trend technique down to over the exhaust, and that's roughly where I want it. I'll go ahead and repeat that over here, pushing gently, pushing down. So it has that gravity effect. And then I like to run them up and then back down. It gives a little bit more of a crossing over effect. You know, they kind of cross over the valve covers a little bit. So then now we kind of know where our wires are. We don't need all this excess on here. I'll clip off just enough so that I can see, see where that hole is there. And then I'll go out just a little bit further because I've drilled all the way through beforehand so that I know that that wire should go in there. And if it sticks out a little bit further, that's fine. You want the wire to look like it's gravity is working against it. So I'll go over here and repeat that process holding it so that they kind of you're kind of training the wires where to go you get two with one here it's a two for one sale oops one of those is a coil wire that's good because it doesn't have to be that long huh <laughs> now wow, good catch almost screwed myself There you go. There's the wires are cut and set. Now we'll go over to the glue. A little tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little bit on the end of your toothpick. Just enough to, oh, holding the wires, holding it in place. Just enough to get a drop on the end of where the wire is going to go in that little spot. 
And you can do more than one at a time if you want, if you think you're going to move that quickly. Like this. This one will bend, and you see I'm getting glue on that those tweezers. Oh no. Come on, cooperate. Again, this is how I do it. Ooh, it went right in there, so I'll hold it for a second. That's got a nice curve to it too, already. Sweet, and then those are done. So, that one looks like that'll go there, it'll go there. The arm of my toothpick, just stick a dab. Usually put the toothpick down in the hole, and that will ensure that it goes all the way in. I'll take my tweezers and bend it so that it's kind of pointing more at that hole. Sometimes they don't want to go all the way in, but again, once you get the hood on and they get the engine in place, you can't really see at this angle anyway. So don't sweat it if you, oops, see that's a good example. I am going to sweat it, but not that much. We're going to get it, get it, get it close, jam it in there. And there you go. That's one side, the spark plug wires set. So I'll go ahead and uh, finish up the other sides, and then I guess we'll do that one too. Speed the cameras up, and then we'll see what they look like when I'm done. Cool. from that video I, I was kind of fumbling with that part because I forgot a few things and I broke on the wires and had to reroute where it went under the exhaust and blah 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 but you know like I said once it goes in there and the hood closes and everything else goes around it that's awesome looks great looks good to me sold send it
and then this, you know, it just, just peel that off and throw that stuff away and use it again. Easy breezy. And that's how I do spark plug wires. You know, uh, again, you could see I was kind of fumbling and didn't do it exactly perfect. And but you know what? Once this thing goes in there, has a bunch of other stuff around it. The hood is closed. I'm good. I am good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Hope this helps. You know, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. That's it. See you in the next one.